I obviously talk about innovation. People know this. The podcast is literally called The Innovator's Mindset. Yeah. And I think sometimes like words like innovation, collaboration, they become buzzwords. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And what I mean by when I when I say buzzwords, right? I mean that people say them without actually they just say them without thinking about what they even mean, yeah. right? We say them because we feel we should say them. It's mm -hmm. like synergy. Right. Yeah, like we yeah. need like it's like a word that what does it even mean and why are you saying it? Right. And so like when you look at that, for, for example, when you talk about the notion of collaborative response or even the term collaboration, yeah. like what, what does that mean to you? What does it look like? And, and why is it like so important to education? You know, I'm so interested that you asked that, George, because that school in Claire's home, if you would have come in and said, so do you collaborate here? Everyone would have said, oh, yeah, yeah we collaborate right. all the time. But what they meant was we share and we get along really well. Um, when we talk about collaboration, I, I like to talk about it as having a little bit of tension or discomfort that comes right. with it. That when we're truly collaborating, we have norms that are established that give us some ground rules to interact. But then real collaboration is when we push just mm -hmm. a little bit. We challenge and we... We do it in a way that's all about honoring and building upon the strengths of each other. But you and I can can disagree within right. this. And we have norms or ground rules that allow us that, you know, we can debate hard on topics while still really enjoying the person themselves. And to do that well, you need, or we would argue, you need structures and processes and practice. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think our... Our education system does a, a super job at really providing us experiences and tools to really collaborate well. I know when I was teaching at the university, that wasn't something I was really helping prep um, right. pre-service teachers with. So it's um, when we say collaboration, we we mean a, a, a process that can have um tension and discomfort, but it's coming from a place that it makes every one of us stronger and truly makes the sum greater than, than the, or what is it? The whole greater than the sum of the parts. Right. You know, George, the other part of that is the origins of, of where we actually started and, and really origins in education is that really it has been an isolated profession Absolutely. and that every teacher has their own classroom responsible for a certain group of students, mm -hmm. uh, responsible for their success and ensuring that they don't fail. So it really has been an isolated profession all along, knowing that in every single one of those classrooms who are just side by side, we often haven't really access that um, true collaborative processes where we can bring those people together and, as Curtis said, really engage in an effective way that really impacts students. Yeah.